Hello, in this video we're going to look at the quantity theory of money. So the quantity theory of money is a theory that links increases in the money supply with increases in the price level. It assumes that the velocity of money is constant or unchanged. What is the velocity of money? It's just the average number of times a dollar is spent on goods and services included in GDP. So let's give the uh, the quantity of exchange equation. So money supply times velocity equals the price level times real GDP. The quantity theory of money again one of the key assumptions is that velocity remains unchanged. These other variables can move around a bit uh, but velocity is unchanged. So just using some abbreviations here, M is the money supply, V is the velocity, P is the price level, and Y is real GDP. So a few things to note. M times V can be thought of as aggregate spending. The money supply times the number of times on average a dollar is spent on final goods and services will equal aggregate spending. Aggregate spending will just equal nominal GDP, and so we can think of the price level times real GDP as nominal GDP. If we take this quantity equation and we solve for V, just dividing everything through by M, we can calculate the velocity of money as the nominal GDP divided by the money supply. We can decompose the quantity equation into percentage changes. So the percentage change in the money supply plus the percentage change in velocity equals the percentage change in the price level plus the percentage change in real GDP. Assuming that the percentage change in velocity is zero, a key feature of the quantity theory of money, we will rewrite this as follows. Just dropping out the percentage change in V, we're assuming that's zero percent change in money supply will equal the percentage change in the price level. And we can think of the percentage change in the price level as the inflation rate. And then we have the remainder here, the percentage change in Y. So if we were to solve for the percent change in the price level or the inflation rate, we can write that the inflation rate will equal the percent change in the money supply minus the percentage change in real GDP. So let's do some examples. So example one, if the money supply is 1,000, the velocity of money equals 2.5, and real GDP is 2,000, what is the price level? So writing our quantity equation and plugging in the values of what we know. The thing that we don't know is the price level, so this just becomes an algebra type problem. We're going to just solve this for the price level. 2,500 equals 2,000 P dividing by 2,000. The price level in this example is 1.25. Example two, if the money supply is 4 million, the price level is two, and real GDP is 6 million, what is the velocity of money? Once again, starting with the quantity equation and plugging in the values of what we know, we can solve for the unknown, in this case, the velocity of money. So 4V equals two times six, or 12. Dividing through by four, the velocity of money is three. On average, a dollar is spent three times on the goods and services that make up GDP. Uh, suppose that the money supply increases by 5% and real GDP increases by 2%. According to the quantity theory of money, what is the inflation rate? So we showed that the inflation rate equals the percent change in the money supply minus the percentage change in real GDP. So the money supply is increasing 5%, real GDP is increasing 2%. The difference is the inflation rate, or 3%. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.